Hello there, let's uh, do design, add, and search a word data structure. So in this particular problem, what we're trying to do is create a word dictionary where we can add words and search for them. Uh, where is an extra dot. Uh, with the dot, we can pick up on other words. Um, I mean, all the possible characters in that particular um, word. So basically, what that means is that we have, let's say, um, M for, I mean, B, A, and then D. And we also have D, A, D, and we also have M, A, D, and we have also P, A, D. With this uh, combination here, we can test all four of these down each particular path, um, and we go through this item and all of its children, and all this item and all of its children to check for the item. So that's going to be O of uh, 26N, uh, if there's 26 different characters. Uh, I mean 26, yeah, 26 to N, 26 N power, because we could get a dot, 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 uh, which basically means we're going to test everything. Okay, uh, with that, uh, I think we know what to do. We're going to use a try node because that's the way to, so we can uh, reduce the amount of memory use. Uh, we could use a lot more memory, but I think this problem requires us to use a data structure that allows us to do that to save on the memory. All right, let's do it. So uh, let's create that class called a trinode. Uh, in a trinode class, uh, we have a children. And uh, with children, we can also um, we have a is end function because I mean a uh, boolean um, because with that we know if that's a word or not. All right. Uh, with that, we can create a self dot root equals try node. And with that, uh, we can add to start adding words. So cur equals self. That's the beginning uh, root basically our dummy, and for char in word, uh, cur equals char, uh, cur dot children at this particular char. And once we're done, we can set cur dot is n equals true. That's it. And that's how you add a word. And let's start searching. Uh, we're going to have to search um, a, with the word um, at every index. So uh, for uh, char in word, we're going to, have to do every single item in the word, um, and we're going to have to say if char is equal equal to a period, we're going to have to do check every single item, and we we can't write infinite for loops, so what we're going to do is do recursion, so what we're going to do here is uh, define a DFS call with an um, a I and a, uh, let's say, the current place of the where we are. Uh, the current item. So um, what this would look like is that uh, let's say this is the word that we're looking for and uh, mad and uh, this this first item is going to check the B and um, that's not going to find anything and then we we'll check D and then we're going to check M um, all starting at the same curve. So basically what, how we're going to call this is um, return DFS at zero, and we're going to set this to self dot root. Um, so that means this is going to return a bool, and uh, I uh, is going to be uh, the the current character is going to be a word at I, and we're going to do a while loop while I is less than the length of uh, the word, and we're going to continue creating characters at the char uh, character. Um, and um, we're going to do i plus equals 1 to get the next character, all right? Um, with that, uh, we're going to have to do everything else in between now. So what happens if uh, the char is equal equal to a period? What's going to happen is that we're going to have to call our DFS uh, function uh, to see if that's um, a DFS, uh, if it's possible. So I, we're going to do i plus 1 to skip this particular word, um, this particular character. Uh, because it could be any character, and uh, we could uh, set this to cur, um, uh, I mean, an, an option of, of um, this particular item. So let's say, um, right, so for option in, 
um, char and current dot children dot values. So these values are basically um, the the trinode. See, see, see. Okay, so we're gonna go down each particular path, each particular option, and let's say we we basically can skip this item. It could be any of these, and we're gonna go down each particular option to see if we have the match for the next character. So with that, if that is, if this returns true, return true. Otherwise, uh, once we're done with this, we can return false because none of these paths return uh, ha are possible. Now, if the car current character is not in the current uh, not children, if it's not a key, um, then return false because if we're just matching properly M and uh, it's not found in this particular line, then it's not possible. Um, else, what we're going to do is that uh, cur equals, we just move on to next character, ch children. I do an i plus one there, and perfect. Uh, with that, I think we can return uh, this particular problem, and uh, we should be good to go. Oh, uh, there's a problem here. Okay, uh, looks like this is incorrect at this particular point. Um, let's see what's going on. Ah, right. Um, at the end of the DFS call, we have to return true uh, if cur is end, because if it is end, then we can return true. If it's not returning anything, then we have nothing here. So I forgot about that. Um, with that, I think we're good. Yeah, submit it. So this is going to be a really long runtime because, well, um, as you can see, 26 to the n power. Um, and so it's going to take a while. Um, and there it is. That's a pretty good answer. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you want more videos, check the link in the description below. If you have any questions, please comment. And um, I think this is... Uh, uh, pretty neat um and if you have any just just let me know if there's a better way to do this well thank you very much i'll see you next one bye